Okay, you guys ready for some 9mm action? Because I know I am. We got the flash bayonite, okay? This is uh, AR-500 rated armor. It's actually better than AR-500. It's got a splatter mitigation shield on it that I've already tested with seven rounds of 308 and it has not failed. It's been doing excellent. The paper is around there to show you if any splatter escapes. Now I'm going to hammer this with some 9 over here 50 feet away. Let's look for splatter, okay? Very, very light spattering, okay? A little bit of grazing up there. Let me get this thing dialed back so you guys aren't freaking out here. See the little tiny, tiny, tiny little perforations. Some little tiny perforations there. Okay, here's where I've been hitting. Just over and over and over and over and over. Just nailing this area right here, okay? So I'm about maybe three inches from the bottom, maybe four inches from the top. You can see that it's finally chewed up the urethane a little bit, okay? But the actual metal frame is still trapping splatter, okay? That's hey guys, RW here. We're going to finish up some testing for the day, okay? Got the monkey gun here, 9 millimeter carbine. I've got 100 rounds of Tula FMJ loaded up. Okay, what are we shooting at? We're shooting at Gary Cola's Flash Bayonite AR-500 armor with splatter mitigation shield that has already suffered 90 rounds of 9mm. Okay.
That's, that's 90 rounds, all right in this one area here. And the purpose of that test was to see if any splatter escaped from this metal frame. And that's what this paper does. This paper is a witness to that. Okay, so I pummeled this area with 90 rounds. I'm going to hit about right here, if I can, with 100 rounds, just to see what it does. As you can see, the gases and the slag and everything is starting to push the urethane out. But the metal frame is still intact. It's still doing its job. This is the last piece of paper I pulled out. There was just a few very light little splatters coming up there. So I'm real happy with the results of this. Let's continue the test. I've got to run another 100 rounds, and then that will be it for the day, guys. We'll come back to this maybe on another day to test something like shotgun rounds and stuff like that at it. But I think we've shown they can withstand 308, seven shots of 308, 90 rounds of 9 millimeter, and continue to offer splatter mitigation, which is what it's all about. Okay, so let's pummel this thing some more. Can't get the Promax to run at all, guys. They ran fine with the uh, Remington. So it took well over 100 rounds to make that frame fail. Something like 150 rounds. So you can see that the urethane actually does do something. What, what does the urethane do? Well, apparently it keeps the gap appropriate 
so that the splatter is kept. This is what happens when your splatter mitigation fails or when you don't have splatter mitigation. It turns your, uh, your body into this. Your skin would be like that, right? And with splatter mitigation, you got nothing. Right? And so here, okay, you can see that the, uh, here's the 308 rounds that hammered this thing. One here, one here, one here, one, two, three there, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six rounds of 308, and uh, something like 170, I think, is about where we're at, because I had several failures to feed with the Promags, which screwed up my shot count, so I can't really tell you. But the steel itself is awesome, guys. You don't have to worry about the steel ever letting a bullet through to your vitals. It's a, the splatter that could kill you. And as you can see here, the splatter shield worked great. Now, this isn't held in here very hard, guys. It's not like these screws were holding the plate together. you got to be kidding me, right? If you saw my other videos, you saw how the plate just jumped off of there. The plate just jumped off when it got hit by the 308 because of the shock. So it's not like these screws are holding the frame together, okay? So discount anything to do with the screws. But you can see that the urethane... What the urethane does is the urethane acts as a, uh, as a uh, spacer and keeps everything happening the appropriate way. Now, here's, here's my urethane. Okay. And you can see I just peppered the center of this thing. I, first, I was down here, and then I moved up. And I started shooting all around in here. So this is all center of mass. And eventually, okay, you can see how all that slag and scarring and everything just destroys the urethane, okay? So this is what I like to do. I love to do testing to destruction. It's my favorite thing. Look at that slag buildup, huh? Wow. All lead and jacketing. And, uh, so there you go. About 100 and... I tried to run 100 rounds this time. Ran 90 last time. I think I had five or six or seven failures to feed, so I probably ran closer to, I don't know, 80, 90 rounds this time. So a total of maybe 180 rounds, and it started failing at about 150 rounds, I think. I'd have to look at the video and, and tell you. But you can see how it just goes off and it catches the edge of this frame, and as uh, Gary has shown, this frame is... Uh, heavier uh, than the last one he sent me, and it works even better. So, capable of stopping multiple rounds of pistol or rifle. It's a standalone plate. You wouldn't need to have soft armor with this. It would work by itself in a plate carrier. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry I'm sweating so bad, but it's rather hot. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Support Gary at BayonetteSteel.com. If you are in the market for body armor, you should definitely be looking at Flash PM AR500 from Flash Bayonite, uh, BayoniteSteel.com. Thanks a lot, guys.